things. It seems like in the battery and energy storage realm, there haven't really been major, major breakthroughs. For that, we will have to really explore the different chemistries. We will have to really explore entirely new out-of-the-box materials and approaches to energy storage instead of just piling more and more and more existing batteries into a Tesla or into some other car. We are working on the various batteries and these batteries range from three-dimensional architectures as well as solid-state uh, batteries and what that means is that instead of having the liquid electrolyte through which the ions travel we're trying to substitute that liquid part with a solid part which will create much safer and much lighter batteries that's where the main innovations in battery technologies could arise it's from the development of much safer and much more uh, fatigue resistant components that will be able to function over many many thousands of cycles without mechanical degradation or chemical degradation Reducing the weight of the materials takes away waste that we would generate while maintaining and preserving the features. So think about the Eiffel Towers. The Eiffel Tower is very mechanically robust and resilient, of course, it's been standing for many years. And it uses a lot less material than, say, the Great Pyramid of Giza, even though it's also a structure. So this clever engineering and architecture of a material into a particular shape offers the advantages of reducing the material use and therefore the waste that it generates while preserving the mechanical resilience.